So Kevin, what are we looking at here? Well, this is our HP Mini 1000 with the MIE, or Mobile Internet Experience, on the screen. We designed this mobile internet experience based on Linux, but really designed it to be, basic, be essentially all of the things a mobile user needs to, for the internet um, in one screen. So on the screen, you've got an email area. It shows the, the, the title, the subject of all of your most recent email messages. We've got a web area, and in that web area, you've got a line where you can type in either a search or you can type in a URL and go right to that particular website or that particular search. You've also got an area for as many bookmarks as you want to store, but a, kind of a more interesting thing is you've got some iconic bookmarks. So those are actually miniature versions of your favorite web pages. And if I want to go to one of them, I'll just move the mouse down to that bookmark, click on it, and there I go, off out to that uh, particular website. And it um, make, makes it very, very easy to keep track of your, your favorite uh, websites and when you want to go and take a look at them, when you, when you uh, want to move to another one. Now, along with that, we've got a home key on the keyboard. Uh, that, that key will always take you back to that home screen, no matter where you've maneuvered in MIE. So even if I'm looking at my website right now and I want to get back to that home page and do something else, I just hit the home key, goes right back there. I don't have to worry about iconizing, I don't have to worry about maneuvering, just go right back to the home, home page. And I can go to another website or whatever I feel like doing. All that's available right from that home page and uh, there's no searching for it at all. So web experience is very easy, email experience very easy. Just click on the email icon, and I head off into my email application. The, the email application is Thunderbird, so it's a very familiar application. Easy to set up your email accounts, and certainly easy to, to read and reply to email. And of course, I hit my home key to go right back to my home page. And what does the photo and music browser look like? Yeah, the browser, uh, the, the photo and music area, the media area, is actually designed to look a lot like or media smart software. So if you take a look at it, you can rotate through music, video, photos, and choose whichever one you want. Go on in, you'll get kind of a familiar interface where you can look at your music library. Take a look, let's say, by albums. And uh, I should see some I'll see some album covers down here. Oops. And just in general, uh, kind of a, fami a familiar interface for playing music. Now this is a prototype, so there are, there are some issues that I'll run into. And sorry about that. But also, I, I can just hit the uh, backspace key and back up through all of that as well. And of course still hit the home, that right back to the home page. So mail, web, music, music or other, or other media, all the things you like to do the most right on that one home page. We also have the, let's see, we also have the pigeon, um, Chat, I, chat application installed. So if you want to use any of the, the popular IM servers, uh, Pigeon will connect to them. And uh, again, an easy experience for, for using the internet. Now what if I want to add applications? Now, adding applications is actually very, very easy. One thing, you, one thing you'll notice is if you go down to the start program, all of the applications that are installed in this, including things way beyond what's on that home screen, are available under some classifications. Like here I'm in media. If I go over to work, I'll find that the, the very popular open office suite is already installed and all I have to do to get one is just click on the right application. If I want to install more applications, I can go to settings and my add remove screen. And in add remove I actually will go out to the internet and check on what's available for download 
and uh, it'll show me a classified list of the applications that are available. So if I go over to, let's say, games, I'll see a list of a collection of games that have been verified to work by both Ubuntu and HP and then made available to you. The advantage to this route is that you don't download random applications, install them, perhaps break the system. They've already been verified to work. They're made available in a very easy to access route. If I choose one, it just downloads it, installs it, and I'm ready to go. It even classifies it so it puts in the right classification on that run screen. So this is an experience people that are not used to Linux, it'll be a good introduction for them. Yeah, the idea is not to produce a machine that runs the Linux operating system. Our idea on developing the mobile internet interface, or MIE, is really to develop a, a machine that's designed for some an, an internet-centric consumer who's very interested in having a, a mini that they can carry around with them anywhere, easy access to the internet, easy access to, to the web, the mail, all of that kind of stuff, without having to worry about the operating system. They really, they really don't have to be involved in Linux at all. It's there. But the MIE is the interface that we really want them to think about.